What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. Don't forget to stop by CMP Kits, get yourself some samples to increase the quality of life. Get yourself some one shots, get yourself some mini kits, CMPKits.com. Uh, also, don't forget to follow the Spicy Sundays podcast on Spotify. Watch us live on YouTube on the MG The Future YouTube channel. Craftmaster Productions, MG The Future, the spiciest podcast coming to you live every Sunday sometime around 12 to 4-ish in there. Don't DM me and ask me what time I'm going live, though. Now, today we're going to be looking at something that will not work in FL Studio or Ableton Live or any DAW because it is specific to the NPC. And it is a continuation of the scenes, uh, sequences, and tracks workflow that I was talking about um, this weekend. Um, and, uh, this comes from the comments. The brother wanted to know, he was like, Hey, when I go and I explode my tracks, it only works for one sequence. And, uh, I want to drag and drop the, you know, the way that you do, um, in your workflow, but I want to drag and drop the whole song. And th that's really easy to do. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is, you know, once the, once you create your, you know, your sequence, some, something simple like this, right? All right, so it's a little four bar sequence. And what I have is I have three of them loaded up. Now, uh, for you guys that don't know, if you want to copy a sequence, all you got to do is right click here and uh, and select copy. Um, and then, you know, tell it which sequence you want it to populate and it'll it'll make a duplicate of that sequence. And then from there, you can go in, you can go and alternate. And, you know, visually what that would look like is, you know, that would be the equivalent of you having, you know, a couple. Um, you know, it'd be the equivalent of you having a couple of these different uh, of these different regions, um, you know, in, you know, inside your DAW. And then if you copy the sequence, what it would look like is you would then you would then copy you would then copy those tracks and duplicate it. That's what it would look like. And then and then from here, you know, you could make changes um, inside and then, you know, go back to your first one. Right. And then duplicate it. And then you would have, you know, you could make these changes here and then depending on depending on what you name them, like how I name mine up here, you could then you could then in song mode. What I'm going to what I'm going to show you guys here is just copy and paste and decide, you know, where you want which sequences to go, uh, you know, using using a nonlinear sequencer is actually very similar to using a linear sequencer. It's just all about uh, being able, you know, being able to connect this visual image with um with the commands inside the non-visual sequencer so let's look at that right now so in in order in order to achieve that what you want to do is after you've you know uh the the way that i do it is you know i'll i'll, I'll take in you know i'll make uh you know sequence two i'll you know i'll go ahead and like delete the hi-hats right so and then and then maybe like the next sequence you know we'll add like We'll add like a dodgy snare here, or there, right? So when I press play and I switch between them, all right. And if you want to take it a step further, you know, you can you can rename these so that you know what they are. It doesn't just have to say sequence one. Now, if you want to lay them out, what you got to do is you need to you need to click on this arrow right here. And you need to enter song mode, right? So this is the, the this is these are all your modes, right? So. You have your different, uh, you know, your different um, modes that you can that you can access. This is song mode now. The way that song mode inside of a nonlinear sequencer works is that is that it's going to be a list of the sequences, right? Similar, you, you know, so almost like a tracker workflow, right? So it's it's going to be a list. Now down here 
on these pads, these, these represent your sequences. So I have sequence one, two, three, and you see, it gives me the information. It's four bars. It's 140 BPM. And all you got to do to, uh, you know, to input them is to drag them here. Now, as you can see, um, as, uh, as you can see, these, these have, uh, these have all of uh, these sequences, their, their drum sequences, and they've only got one track, right? So what, what I want to do is I, is again, I want to separate all these tracks and then be able to drag and drop them into my session, right? All, all 12 bars. Well, the way that, the way that you're able to achieve that is you want to go to your song menu over here and you see where this says convert to sequence. So what this is going to allow me to do is I'm going to select an unused sequence. I'm going to select sequence five and I'm going to choose do it. And when I go to, when I go, let's see, let's get this out of here. Now, if I select, if I select sequence five, which is on pad a five, right? If I go here, you see, this is those breaks every four bars stops being there and this is just one long sequence right so if i go if i go to my main screen now you see i've got all this information all those extra snares are there i've got you know i've got everything everything that i programmed so in order to now that i've got it in this window i can go to i can go to file you want to go to edit we want to edit the track we want to we want to explode this track and what explode does is it puts the pads that you have used onto their own tracks right so i'll go ahead and click explode now you can see right here so i can i can go into i can go into my audio folder real easy click this guy drag it out and boom there's that, there's that 12 bar, there's that 12 bar loop, right? Go to my next one. 12 bars of snare action. Go to my next one. 12 bars of hi-hat action, right? So say you, you know, say you made this in the machine, or I'm sorry, in the uh, MPC standalone software, you could just, you could just open up the plugin inside your DAW, load the session and, and go ahead and do this. And now you've got. Right. And it says, and, and it's as simple as that. So. Remember, all you want to do is all you want to do is lay out your song first. Don't worry about exploding the tracks. Then make sure that on on the song window, when you're in when you are inside song mode, just make sure you hit this convert sequence, and it's going to convert the whole song. Then you want to explode your tracks, and then you can drag and drop, and you'll wind up dragging and dropping the whole um, the whole the whole the whole stem. Um, for for the entire length of the song that you programmed. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we'll see you on the next one.